Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, this is Julian Gross, um, I'm here showing off my latest and greatest game find. I found this at a Goodwill for 40 bucks, it is a Game Boy Color in box, uh, it's been opened, the bottom is damaged unfortunately on the box, but I just thought it was so cool to find one actually in the box with everything. So uh, I guess you could call this an unboxing. <laughs> So weird to actually unbox something that came out almost 15 years ago, you know. And it has been opened up and tested and things like that, so it's not a completely sealed unboxing or anything of the sort, but it's still fucking awesome. So, of course, we've got the Game Boy, which I have put batteries in just for the sake of uh, this review and whatnot. I'm actually going to be modifying it putting a light and a couple other things in there. We've got these uh, pamphlets, and I think... Oh, here we got one more piece of something in there. Let's see if I can get that out without bending the cardboard too much. Here we go, another little piece. Alright, that looks like that's about it. But, um, yeah, so this is the uh, Game Boy Color, you know. A um, little bit of backstory for it. If I'm not mistaken, this is the third or f fourth rendition of the Game Boy um, to ever come out. Yeah, just adjust the camera here a second. There we go, perfect. Um, yeah, fourth edition of the Game Boy to come out. First we had the, of course, original Game Boy, and then after that we had the um, Game Boy Play It Loud, which was just a colored version of the original Game Boy. And then um, there was even the uh, Game Boy Pocket and Game Boy Light. Uh which were about the same size, Game Boy Light being the only Game Boy to have a light on it until the Game Boy Advance SP. Um, yeah. So let's get through uh, all the stuff that we have in here. Oh yeah, and then of course the Game Boy Color came out. So we've got this beautiful, huge pamphlet with the introduction to the Game Boy Color system, list of components, description of components, installing batteries, two-player mode, game link cable, charging... Uh, changing the screen color on original Game Boy games, which is pretty cool to actually be able to do that. Uh, using the Game Boy Color video game system. About Game Boy game packs. All kinds of nifty little stuff. And then, of course, uh, more info. Uh, displaying uh, the uh, IR port and parts list order form. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny to see. What do we got? Game Boy Pocket a a AC adapter. Universal Game Link. Game Boy adapter. Battery color specify the co bat uh, battery co uh, cover door, stereo headphones, instruction booklet. <laughs> the he stereo headphones were eight dollars and fifty cents. Wow, how expensive! Yeah, it's just it's so cool to see all this information here with the original Nintendo helpline stuff right there. Here you go, isn't that great? Uh, sorry if the video co quality is kind of shit. I'm doing this on my cell phone. Because I don't have a good camera. <laughs> You're in it to win it, so register your Game Boy for a chance to win a Game Boy game pack of your choice. With a Mario Golf, Wario Land 2, uh, Star Wars Pod Racer, uh, looks like Game & Watch Gallery 3, uh, Conker's uh, Pocket Tales, NBA 3-on-3, three three, Mickey's Racing, and uh, Quest for Camelot. Ooh, there's something we all forgot about. Then we had... Yeah, register your Game Boy and all the cool little ads for that jazz. Then uh, over here we have the uh, Game Boy official booklet, uh, giving you all the warnings and whatnot, consumer information, patent information, hardware precautions and maintenance, epilepsy warning, game pack precautions, FCC, lots and lots of stuff, and lots and lots of languages. So that's pretty nifty as well. And then this power up and get free stuff. Might I add that that is just like the 90s -est fucking picture. <laughs> get a free gift with your paid subscription. And it tells you all about the Nintendo Power. A little ad for Pokemon Gold and Silver over there. More Nintendo Power stuff. The, the Game Boy Color Pouch. <laughs> oh man, this is this is just so such nostalgia. And see, the thing was, I never had a Game Boy Color as a kid. I had, um... We had a Game Boy and a Game Boy, um, two Game Boy Play It Louds and an original Game Boy, and eventually lost all of them in a house fire. 
So, um, the, uh, Game Boy Play allowed so that we had the green one and the red one, which was pretty cool. And then I didn't have a Game Boy until my dad eventually got me a Game Boy Advance SP. Or, not SP, he got me just the regular Game Boy Advance. And then I just recently started getting back into Game Boy, uh, just because I really wanted to. And now I'm so happy that I got this because it's adding to my collection. Yeah, and as you can see, well, probably not because I'm making way too much glare, but the screen on this thing is, it looks, like this whole Game Boy looks like no one's touched it. Like, and the only downside that I can see is that the uh, battery door is not showing up too well in the video. Actually looks really blue. This is the teal edition. Got some batteries in it. Um, the battery door is a little discolored. Like slight yellowing so it looks a little green compared to the teal of the body. But other than that, this thing is fucking next to perfect. Like I was, I am blown away by how, like what good of condition this thing is in. Like it is mind bottling. Look at how fucking cool. It's a Game Boy. Anyway, uh, give me two seconds. I'll grab a game real quick. Um, shit, where did I put it? Uh. Well, crap. I don't know where I put my Pokemon Silver cartridge. I had it last night. I was literally playing Pokemon last night. And now I have no idea. I should, probably should have grabbed that before the, uh unboxing video. Give me just one more second, you guys. Uh, I tested it in the store and it does work. This is great. This is going to be like a minute and a half of run on. There it is. All right. Cool. I don't know if this is going to show up so well on the screen, but uh, Game Boy. Uh, we got uh, Pokemon Silver here. In my Game Boy. Oh, wait. Yeah. That feeling. All right. Let's see. Mm, hold on, my cartridge is in there crooked. Still crooked. That's the only, like, my Pokemon Silver cartridge does this even on my SP. God damn it. I tested it in the store so I know it works. There we go. Thank you. Had me worried for a second. Well, what the fuck? Oh, god damn it. Yeah, blown in the cartridge. We all know that game. No, we tested it in the store. They had a game, and they let me use it, and it ran fine. There it goes. Now it's no longer being picky. Oh, look at it in all its Game Boy glory. Oh, so wonderful. You're getting lots of glare on the screen there, but yep, it's Pokemon, and it works. Sorry if it's a little blurry and hard to see everything. Like I said, I'm on a cell phone, so that's that, which is pretty great. Let's uh, try out the Castlevania Adventure. For those of you guys who don't know, Castlevania Adventure was the first Castlevania game ever released on the Game Boy, and it is so goddamn hard. It's not even funny. This is. Probably, like, the, I was really excited because I wanted a Castlevania game so bad to be able to take with me on the go because I love Castlevania. And, um, this is before I had my PSP that, that I've hacked. But, um, so I was looking online and I found this one. It was only, like, five bucks. And all the other Game Boy ones were, like, ten plus. And I was like, why is that one so cheap? Fuck it, I'll just get that one. And, you know, it was the first one released, so, I mean, I've got great nostalgia for old Castlevania games. And I was like, oh, that'll be great. I'll, I'll give that a shot. And then it turns out... The reason it's so uh, cheap is because it's kind of shitty, to say the least. It is not the best Castlevania game that there is. It's super difficult, and... Hold on, let me see if I can... Oh, no, you gotta change the colors on the Game Boy screen. But it is not an easy game. Oh, but it looks so good on this screen. You guys have no idea. It looks like it looks even better than it does on my uh, on my um, Game Boy Advance SP. Oh man, that's beautiful. The screen on this thing is just so in such great condition. I know the video doesn't do it justice, but God, you can see everything. It is beautiful. I'm such in love. The D-pad, 
feels like that great Game Boy D-pad. I miss big, chunky buttons and D-pads. Like, there's just something to be said about them that feels so good. You know? Everything about it just feels better. It feels better in the hands, to hold, you know? In comparison to, like... I have got my SP over here, actually. Let me... Oh, crap. I done fucked up. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Not the best unboxing video, I know. But, whatever. It's okay. But, um, here's my SP, right? Which is... It's an SP. You know, it's, it's an alright thing. If you look in comparison to the size of, like, the actual Game Boy itself. My god. This thing is beastly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do one of the mods I want to do. <laughs> I was considering taking this and putting it within this, but now that I'm laying them side by side, it's not going to physically fit within the body unless I turn it. It's It, it could be interesting. I know for a fact I'm probably going to take the light out of this screen and put it on this one, so that's probably going to be what I do later on tonight. But, um, yeah, the screen of this thing is fucking bigger than the actual Game Boy Color. Anyway. Yep, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's my unboxing of the Game Boy Color. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I am totally going to get down on some sweet, sweet Game Boy gaming. Um, adios.